Hello and welcome back to History Great Battles Medieval Part 2. Um, let's pretty much just get straight into this. Um, I'm going to do a little uh, skirmish first just to level some of my weaker characters. Uh, I'm not carrying on uh, straight off from the first part so I've completed a couple um, missions um, from As you wish. Couple missions uh, of the campaign, Orders. off cam, yes, and um, and bought a lot more troops as you can see. Yes, um, bought I've got On three lots of cavalry, uh, three lots of archers, and you know, there. Well, I'm showing you there. Uh, pretty much gonna just. Uh, this is the easiest like, little skirmish yes, so I'm gonna sir. just use my weakest troops to help level them up um, if you uh, don't remember the first part um, um, then sir. you've got uh, two little uh, cards you can play during the match um, uh, that are like strategy cards uh, the yes, two of uh, that I'm using at the moment are uh, uh, stand fast. Which, um, let's let's your um, let's one of your units uh, have a bigger defense, uh, greater defense, and uh, the other one is one that I don't really need to use yes, in this mission, but I'm going to test it out. Is um, yes, sir. I can't remember what it's called, but it basically puts in um, like a little trap. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, to um, slow down cavalry charges and stuff, and obviously these guys haven't got cavalry, so there we go. Rabbit Warren, yeah, that just slows down troops and stuff, so I can deal with them at a later date when I've got the troops to do so. Um, this is an easy mission, so this will be over quick, and I'll get on to the next part of the campaign. Sir? Um, yes, sir. Again, uh, I'm actually enjoying this um, a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, the, during the first part, I did say it was, wasn't the yes, best strategy sir. game, but in fact, it's turned out to be a little deeper than I thought it was. Um, I'll go into details about that later. Uh, let's just finish off this little, uh, little excursion. Um, yes, sir. And as you can see, I have, have leveled yes, up my, uh, built up my uh, army Fire. quite a bit here. Um, there you go. Quick as that. Pretty much a minute or so. Oh, less than a minute there, guys. That's how quick that was. Um, and there you go. Those are my troops. You can. Uh, upgrade uh, their uh, like skill trees and buy them better weapons and change their color of their uniforms as you can see uh, see so I got a lot now um, and I've actually there you go defense skills general skills let's have a look at general skills no nothing can do there um, defense yeah might as well. Done. Uh, oh, there you go. Part 4, Chapter 4. There you go, it's a bit of story now. Long and bloody was the Breton War of Succession, with both sides greatly desperate to claim the Duchy of Brittany. Such is the lure of power that all who seek the highest position must be prepared to climb the bodies of the dead. Acting for King Edward, Sir Thomas Dagworth led the English in their quest to raise on high the Montfort standard. None should be surprised a bit confused there. that Charles of Bois saw fit to lay an ambush. His aim to add more bodies to the growing tally. The French were numerous, the English far less so. Sir Thomas chose his ground, 
and bravely faced his foe. He had two allies only, Guile and Great Resolve. Uh, I have to confess that I've tried this mission once before and I did really badly. Um, basically that little V sign, that is uh, the area I've got to basically stop any French from getting in. So I'm going to swap those troops around to my strongest foot soldiers uh, with good defence. Um, if I can find them. Sir? Uh, but before that, let's uh, set some... And yeah, basically what I'm going to do is get my archers Sir? Uh, in the middle rather than on the outskirts where they're going to get trounced by the enemy because uh, obviously archers are not very good at hand hand they're obviously good at long range so keep them in the middle protected by uh, foot soldiers um, Sir? I'm going to keep a lot of my troops in the center to protect that V sign, the victory sign uh, and then send off Yes, sir. probably going to send off my cavalry to um, to deal with uh, trying to harass their um, their flanks and stuff. Um, hopefully, I've got enough troops this time to win this one out. I think I have, um, but we'll see. Uh, like I said, I've got into this again because I've been watching Time Commanders on YouTube. It's the only way you can find it. Uh, it was a BBC Two series about. Uh, basically four people would come in play like a computer game yes, um, using the Total Rome uh, engine uh, it's obviously quite a few years ago now yes, and basically you had to, uh, they have four you know um, random people in who obviously wanted to play uh, and they had to recreate uh, a famous battle um, and obviously you had two generals and two lieutenants and it could go disastrously some disastrously bad sometimes and uh, yes, on sir. occasion uh, tremendously well um, I watched an episode uh, the other day where um, yeah let's let him loose come on guys uh, it's probably not a good idea to send my horses in through uh, a tree line because that's their weakest area because they need to basically yeah, slow those guys down. Done. Uh, this is going quite well so far, guys. Um, I've lost my train of thought now. Um, watch, yeah, I watched an episode the other day where um, in the real in the real battle, uh, this guy had like outnumbered the Romans ten to one, but he got his ass handed to them. Uh, yes, sir. Orders. Basically, just because he was a bit of an idiot, uh, and he used to kill anybody Orders. who gave him bad news. Uh, so he had his army setting yes, up, and the Romans were coming, but no one would tell him it, the Romans were coming because they would yes, be executed for giving him bad news. Sir. And they basically got yes, their sir. asses handed to them because uh, no one wanted to tell the the Orders. king that the Romans were coming. Yes, sir. So basically, don't be an asshole, and you might win. Uh oh, uh oh, those guys are. Sir. Cards stand fast. Yes. I'm actually doing well here, guys. I think. I think this could be a victory. Yes, sir. Orders. As you. Okay, yeah, might as well use them against them as well. Sir? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Two against one. Hit him in the flanks. Uh, yeah, so I'm really am enjoying this game right now. Archers aren't very effective through the tree line, by the way, guys, but it's better than nothing, those guys. Um, Orders? Yes, sir. As you wish. Ah, they're actually uh, coming back. Orders? Yes, sir. By your command. Oh, yeah, one of the French is finally retreating on the right-hand side. Oh, no. One of my lot is running away. 
Hopefully I've got enough. I think I've yes, got sir. enough now. Yeah. Sir? That was a good strategy there, guys. One one. Um, like I said, the first time I got ha it, my ass handed to me, I... Just, oh no, my gentleman's fallen. Whoops. Never mind. It's not a loss, basically. Yes, sir. Yes, Even if sir. your general does fall, uh, it doesn't really yes, mean sir. you're going to lose. Um, yes, sir. In real sir. life, it might have done, but uh, that's another matter altogether. Um, <clears throat> a lot of these guys that are falling back yeah. are coming back into the fray, but uh, with heavy uh, the loss, those losses, then. Sir? Yes, sir. We're getting hit by archers. Yes. Take, take care of those. Yeah, this is victory. Quite a good victory here, guys. Oh, for God's sake, why aren't they attacking them? Yes. Come on. <laughs> Just standing there getting killed. Nice. Order, sir. Right. On my way. Take them the flank. Wipe them out. So my archers have pretty much been untouched. The guys in the victory spot have haven't been hit either uh, a good victory there guys what's he doing retreating towards my line orders yeah one of my weakest ones level three yes, yeah sir. as you yeah. wish make sure they don't come back they're coming back. Ah, oh, they're coming back again. Yes, sir. Orders. Let's just level muscle my weakest spots because we've won this. Boy. Sweet. Um, again, I might do some more episodes on this. I am, like I said, I really am enjoying this. Um, yeah, nice. I, don't, I think I've lost one unit. Can't close points. Oh, 300. Oh, nice. Men of arm, at arms. Right, I'm going to show you the the men I've got at the moment. Uh, 60%. Saving 90%. Now oh, done. There you go. I've leveled a lot of them there. Um, I'm trying to get at least a squad of kind of each special speciality. Uh, at the moment I have not got a guy, some guys with hammers, um, basically hammers, uh, like uh, this is this is one thing that uh, led me to believe it wasn't as deep as I thought it was, um, uh, and um, the stats are a bit um, deceiving. Because uh, if you were to go purely on the stats, you would uh, pretty much only use two different white type of weapons. Uh, but basically, hammers, although quite looking quite weak. Um, yeah, let's purchase men at arms. Done. Come on. Yeah. Um. Um. Oh, hammers generally kind of leave you open to attack and stuff. Uh, you can basically... Um, they work well against heavily armoured enemies. So, like, uh, so they can break through uh, the heavily armoured defend, defensive uh, kind of enemies. Which uh, I only clocked on to recently, really. Um, I must say... Um, I wasn't too impressed with the hammers in general, but uh, now that I know they can def uh, defeat heavily heavily armoured enemies, I'm going to have at least one squad of them. Um, and I think I might have them as light, so that they can run in and uh, run in quick and take down the heavily armoured guys. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what I should do with them yet there. Um, I am. I tend. Uh, I tend to normally go for defensive, so I'm quite tempted to get most of my troops on uh, the heavy armor. 
but I know that's not a good idea because you do need some quick troops to harass their flanks and try to get in behind uh, and obviously to be able to get out of the way when an enemy is coming in too fast and strong for me to take um, and obviously I do like the idea have of have having a lot of missile troops There's a lot of bows and arrows and I think it said later you can have uh, muskets so that would be pretty damn cool uh, one problem with this game is um, the maps are too small uh, if you looked at the very beginning uh, or during the first both both the matches uh, you saw little green squares and you can only put your troops in those squares so you cannot like hide them behind uh, forests or stuff like that which obviously I would like to do if it was a bigger map and you had the choice to do that uh, to take the enemy by surprise and stuff but uh, you know you you have to do what you can with uh, what you got there's not many this is for the PS3 uh, strategy games tend to be for the PC for well a good reason I suppose um, uh, but I've, uh, I should probably try to do do more on PC because I love strategy games, but I'm not a PC gamer. Um, I've never really learnt to use a PC as a gaming tool. Uh, some people have, obviously, um, but I always grew up with um, uh, consoles. I didn't get a PC until I was uh, like in my teens, late teens. Uh, and then I just used it for the internet. Um, obviously, there are a lot of PC elitists who obviously look down on uh, console owners, but um, you know, not all of us had the chance to have a PC when we were younger. And there's nothing wrong with a, a console either, as uh, you know, just. Uh, oh, on another note, uh, bef just before I leave, I got a, a, the box set of X Files on DVD. Um, so, uh, there's 202 episodes and two films. That's a heck of a lot to get through. Um, I believe there's. If I look. Some random people in the background. Uh, sorry, I was going to say how long, how many hours that is, but there's thousands pretty much. Um, right, guys, uh, I think I'm going to leave it here and I'll return uh, sometime in the future. Bye bye.